is the sixth day that we've been in transit trying to get to Bangui in the Central African Republic. Uh, it's one of the first flights in. We're not really sure what we're walking into. Um, French troops are there. A couple were killed yesterday. There's been sporadic fighting by the airport. UNOCHA now estimates that over 100,000 people in the city of Bangui are displaced alone after the recent spate of violence. Muslims have sought refuge in mosques. Christians have sought refuge in churches. Here at the Monastery of Bliss, there's over 15,000 IDPs. Many of them have been there for nearly a week. And what they told us is that they're still scared to go home despite the presence of French troops. They fear that there's been a recent spate of tit-for-tat killings, reprisals, are Muslims on Christian civilians, armed Christians on Muslim civilians, and they just don't know when it's going to get better. I have lost my own brother last Thursday. To they, the fighting? Yes, yeah, they killed my own brother. I'm sorry to hear that. Huh? If I was a man of anger, I could take any gun, any knife or bomb, kill everybody. But I will not do it. Can you ask him? Can you ask him what happened? Zola? Can you ask him? No, merci. Came up on one of the major French checkpoints here. Uh, as you can see, there's French troops behind me, there's FOMAC. There's all sorts of, of just different uniform groups. And we came up right upon the scene as a machete attack had just gotten underway. There was a young man who said he'd been attacked by Axilica. He was bleeding profusely from his leg. Uh, we don't really know who is who and what's what. A lot of the residents are telling us that some of the guys dressed as FOMAC are actually ex -Selica. And And they don't know. They're not sure. The French aren't sure. No one really knows what's going on. So, so it's calm, but there's a lot of confusion and we don't really know what's going to happen. It could get worse. It could stabilize. But a lot of armed people in a really small area, so that's never really a good thing. And it is at night that people go uh, door by door to address people, to kill people. Really? Really. To identify who is Muslim, who is Christian, they, go, uh, they knock on the doors. Yeah. No, not uh, Muslim. They just go to steal. To steal. To steal. They can steal Muslim, yeah. they can steal Christian. Mm -hmm. huh? The problem Christian Muslim, that's something else. Something else, okay. Uh, so uh, now it is just chaos. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's chaos. Chaos. Huh? Uh -huh. And because uh, all weapons have not been taken from the hands of these people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there, there is a need to go in each sector, in each house, to look for a weapon. Mm -hmm. huh? This is what is the real danger here. As for the problem between the Christian and Muslim, we try to quieten the situation. Reconciliation. Yes, but, but what the French uh, soldiers must do? If they come and they take weapon, let them take the people and uh, put them somewhere else to avoid revenge from the population. Mm.